the human origin story and why we almost didn't make it. What if we told you that our existence was hanging by a thread on the edge of oblivion? We're talking about a global population nosedive so steep that we were left with just 40 pairs of humans scratching their heads, desperately trying to keep the species alive. Can you wrap your head around that? Because we're still trying to. Now, buckle up as we dive headfirst into the jaw-dropping saga of how we ended up in this cosmic tight spot. From the early days to the cradle of civilization, we're navigating the twists of fate that paved the way for our wild journey. It's a tale of resilience, survival, and some seriously unbelievable moments that you'd swear were fiction if they weren't true. So don't miss a beat and stick around till the end because what's about to hit you is a revelation that'll make you question how close we were to being a mere blip in the cosmic tale. This, my friends, is the human origin story like you've never heard it before. Are you ready? Our journey into humanity kicked off around 6 to 8 million years ago in a world vastly different from the one we know today when the human family tree decided to part ways with chimpanzees and apes. You see, we as humans have got a very strong connection with our primate relatives, especially the big shots of Africa, chimpanzees, including bonobos and gorillas. Fossils, proteins, and genetic studies spill the beans that humans and chimps shared a common ancestor millions of years ago. We're talking about a mystery creature that we can't quite picture, but hey, all our roots go back to this primate in Africa. Think small, tree-dwelling, and a whole bunch of physical and behavioral traits shared with today's primates. As the environment changed and different pressures shaped our ancestors' evolution, new species strutted onto the scene, giving rise to the diverse primate family we have today. It's this shared ancestry that explains why we humans and the great apes have so many genetic similarities and share some social behaviors. In the scientific arena, there's a heated discussion about identifying and classifying 15 to 20 early human species, and because many of these ancestors left no living descendants, our family tree has become a real cosmic mystery. We've got the scoop on some standout ancestors who left their mark on the prehistoric runway, shaping the path to our existence. Let's make a grand entrance with Australopithecus, our distant ancestors who strutted the Earth about 4 million years ago. Bursting onto the scene during the Pleistocene and early Pleistocene in Africa, these early homonyms were the trailblazers of bipedalism. Fancy word, right? Well, it just means walking on two legs instead of four. This was a major first step towards our human evolution. But how do we know Australopithecus walked? Meet Lucy, the household name in the world of early hominins. Lucy's 40% complete skeleton, standing at a petite 3.3 feet, reveals an ape-like face and a brain one-third the size of modern humans. The analysis of her fossils provides compelling evidence that she and her species were masters at walking upright. But hold on tight, because our evolution
Another event that took place that impacted early humans happened towards the end of the last ice age, known as the Pleistocene Epoch. This occurred roughly 11,700 years ago, around 10,000 BC. This period was marked by a significant transition from a glacial to an interglacial climate, leading to major environmental changes. At the heart of this climatic shift was the melting of colossal ice sheets that blanketed regions like North America, Europe, and Asia. As these ice sheets melted, they unleashed immense volumes of water into the oceans, which altered terrestrial ecosystems. Habitats that were once frozen tundra began to transform into more diverse landscapes, including forests and grasslands. This would have forced human populations to migrate away from their traditional habitats, seeking new areas for settlement. Climate change also messed with plants and animals, some of the crucial ones for humans, like certain plants and animals they relied on for food and tools either disappeared or moved elsewhere. To make matters worse, the big animals, like the megafauna, think mammoths and giant ground sloths, vanished too. This was a big deal because humans depended on them for food, clothes, and tools. The end of the Ice Age wasn't just a change in weather. It reshaped everything for our early ancestors, and they struggled to adapt to these new conditions. Many of them perished as they were unable to find enough food and resources to survive. But guess what? Humans are tough cookies. When faced with these monumental changes, they didn't just roll with the punches. They leveled up, like gaming pros. Upgraded tools? Check. Collecting and taming plants and animals? Check. Building cozy communities? Check. And now, for the real game changer. They shifted from hunting and gathering to farming. A massive transformation in human history. This wasn't just a small change. It was a huge deal in human history. This shift was the secret sauce for not just surviving, but also thriving in the world after the Ice Age. That's a wrap for today's adventure. If you were as hooked on this journey as we were, smash that like button, spread the history love with your fellow enthusiasts, and make sure to subscribe to History Spotlight for your regular dose of mind-blowing stories. And until next time, stay curious and keep digging into the awesomeness of our extraordinary past.